Good morning, homesteaders. It's uh, September 1st. It's the opening day of ginseng season. <laughs> there goes Zoe. Uh, I'm out here in the woods, and there's a couple of three-pronged ginseng plants right there. I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, digging them out and what we're looking for and what to do with them here. So hang on just a second. We carry a... Uh, garden trowel with us for digging. Here's a three prong plant and by three prong we've got three different sets of leaves off of it. The berries have already fallen off of this one and that one so they're scattered here around the ground. If you do find berries on them still make sure you leave them where they are. When we start digging I'll clear away from it and dig out from it some. Find where the base of the root is Try and get way down under it and loosen the ground around it. We don't want to dig through the root and damage it. It happens though, and there's times when you completely lose it and don't get anything out of it. And as I've loosened some of the dirt around, I'll dig it away till I can find the top of the root zone, see which way it's going, because the plant might be here, but the root could be shooting way off this way or this way be a lot of different roots on top of it so it's a bit of a pain at times to find where it is there's the top of it dig a little more here Lots of times they would hide under other roots, which makes it really hard to get them out. And there's what we're looking for. That is a ginseng root. Those, that will keep, will pull the flower off, and I'll keep that in my little bag that I carry with me of ginseng roots. See what this one's got on it. Again, dig around the outer edges, loosen the ground up. Again, make sure it's a three-pronged plant here. Uh, I'm not sure what your laws are there, but in Indiana, it's got to be a three-pronger. And here's another one. And that's what we're looking for. Remember the three pronged plants, uh, three leaves on top, usually two smaller ones on the bottom, red or green berries. These berries have already dropped off. Clip it off and we're good to go on this. That's two and we're gonna look for more. This one here still has berries on it. As you can see, they're green. They haven't turned red. I'll make sure I take these berries off. They'll turn into plants for another year. Loosen it up. Try and keep the plant itself still intact with the roots so I know where I'm going.
And there's another one. That is Zoe. She's one of our four dogs. I keep trying to teach her to find ginseng plants, but all she does is eat stuff. There's Amy off in the distance. Hi, Amy. Amy's uh, out looking for pawpaw trees right now. She's not even looking down for ginseng. Bad Amy. We've been out here for oh, about an hour and a half now, and this is a gallon bag, and we've dug up this much so far, which is really good for first starting out. We've still got about 10, 11 acres here of woods to start hunting through throughout the season. We'll go out and do an hour or two each day, and hopefully it'll add up. So if you've got woods, it's the legal time of the year. It's time to get out and start ginseng hunting. After you get your ginseng, uh, we bring it inside and we wash it three times. Uh, get it as clean as possible. The ginseng uh, buyers like it clean. Uh, the whiter you can get it, the better they like it, the better they pay for it. So we're going to wash this in the first time, then we'll wash it again and again, and then we're going to go ahead and put them in the dehydrator. All right, I've washed this three times now. I've got all the dirt off of it, got it as white as I can get it. Uh, it's going to go over there to dry right this second for a little bit, and then we're going to take it out to the dehydrator.